Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make these adorable little face scrubbies. They're super super easy to make and they work up really quickly so without further ado let's get into it. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the Bernat Handicrafter yarn. It is 100% cotton yarn, which I would suggest using for these face scrubbies. And this is a size 4 medium weight yarn, but you could realistically use any weight yarn for this. I'm going to be using a 5mm hook with this yarn. You're also going to need a darning needle to weave in your ends at the end of your project and a pair of scissors. So once we have all of our supplies, we can get started. Now to begin this project, we're gonna start with a magic ring. Now if you're unsure of how to make a magic ring, I will link a video in the, the description box below that will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete one, but I will give you a quick demonstration here. So first we're just gonna anchor our yarn with our thumb and our ring finger, and we're gonna wrap the yarn around. We have two parallels on the top and across on the back. We're gonna go under the top loop, over the back, Pull through to make an A, turn your hook, yarn over and pull through. And there is your magic ring. Now for this project we're going to be working with puff stitches and we're only going to be doing three wrapped puff stitches. I know you can do more than that but for this project it works best for that. So to start we're going to chain one, so yarn over and pull through. And now we're going to do our first puff stitch. So to do our puff stitch, what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over and pull through, that's one. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, that's two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, that's three. So at the end of this row, we should have seven loops on our hook. Once you have all seven on your hook, you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all seven. Now this can be a little bit difficult. You just kind of have to work your hook through. And then to close that off, we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through to finish that puff stitch. Now we're going to do another one. Yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull up your hook so you have some extra slack in your, in your stitch here. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, that's two. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, that's three. So making sure we have seven on our hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you have all seven, you're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through all the loops. If your ring's getting too big, you can just close it a little bit. Now to finish off this puff stitch, we're just going to do one chain. There's two. Onto the third, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all seven. And chain one to end. So that's three complete. So we'll do three more. Pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all seven. and chain one to end. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, three, yarn over, pull through all seven loops, chain one. So now we've completed one, two, three, four, five puffs. We have one more to do. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, that's two, yarn over, pull through, that's three, Yarn over, pull through all seven loops, and a chain to end. So this is what we should be looking like right now. Now to end off, 
we are going to close up our magic ring. And this is what we're looking like thus far. So to end row one, we are going to put a slip stitch in the very first puff stitch here that we made. So insert underneath those stitches, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Now to start row two, we're going to chain one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place a puff stitch directly above the puff stitches we made in the first round. So into this stitch here. And then we're also going to place a puff stitch in this chain one space in between all the puffs. So we did six puffs in the first row, so we should have 12 puffs in the second row. So we're going to yarn over and insert into the top of that puff. Yarn over. And pull through. Yarn over. Insert. Yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over. Insert. Yarn over. Pull through. Once you have seven on your hook, yarn over and pull through all seven. Yarn over and pull through to end. Now we're going to work into this chain space here. Yarn over, insert three times, just like we did below. Yarn over and pull through all seven. And chain one. Now we're going to go into the top of this puff here. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. That's one, there's two, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull three, that's three. Yarn over and pull through all seven. And chain one. Now we're working into the chain space again with our three wraps. Yarn over, pull through all seven, oopsies. And chain one to complete that puff. And you're just going to work that all the way around. So you till you have 12 puffs. Now once you've completed all 12 of your puffs for row 2, what we're going to do is we're going to chain 1 for our last puff. Now we're going to place a slip stitch in the top stitch of the first puff that we did. Pull through and there is row 2 complete. Now for row three to start, we're going to chain one. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to place 24 stitches around and we're going to be working into the top of the puffs as well as the chain one spaces. We're gonna place a half double crochet around. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. That's a half double crochet. And we're just going to do that all the way around for all 24 stitches. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Now, once you're done, we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch, and that is row three complete. Now we can cut our yarn. Just leave a decent sized tail so that you can weave in your ends. and just pull your yarn tail through. And there you have your face scrubby. Now, just to complete this, we're gonna weave in our ends. So just take your darning needle and push your yarn end on your needle. And what I like to do is I just like to go in the same direction that I'm already going. So I don't want to go back in this way. I'm going to just go underneath here, under a few stitches in the center here. And then I usually like to just put a tiny little knot. and then keep going around. And then I will just weave in my other end as well. And just go right down this middle here. and just weave through the middle again. Little knot. And then just weave one more time just for extra security. And then once I'm happy with that, I just cut my ends. And there is our completed face scrubby. I hope this was really helpful for you guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let us know in the comments down below if there's any other tutorials you're looking to see. Otherwise, please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!